So today I'm going to be working on the piece of Honda. Seized front caliper um, and a seized rear caliper. The front's sticking on, the rear's not coming on at all. But yeah, every time I brake, I turn left, which is helpful. Good thing is that uh, I'm going to upgrade all the all the brakes. I'm going to go bigger all round. I've got a bigger brake master cylinder. I've got braided lines. I've got a um, you know performance brake pads for the fronts and um, a brake master cylinder stopper as well from Tegiwa. So I'm going to do a quick unboxing video. Go through all those bits. Uh, the master cylinder you'll see in this quick. Um, time lapse. You won't see in this quick time lapse. Sorry, because uh, yeah, I, I still need to dig it out. Um, but yeah, I'll see if I can get it for like the unboxing bit. Um, obviously, that's not in a box. It's used. It's from an MG ZR. It's going to be a test fit. I don't know if that's going to fit. Everything else should. Um, and I'll go through what everything is um, and how it all how it will all fit the um, EG um, hitch swapped EG, and then hopefully I'll have hitch swap capable brakes. So yeah, should be good. So for the unboxing, I've got um, MG ZS 160, uh, well, MGZR 160 front discs or MGZS 180 front discs, same thing. 282mm diameter, um, 4x100 PCD, um, ideal for, so that's them, ideal for um, the Prelude front calipers, obviously got a pair of those. Um, just grease them all up, got them ready to go on. Um, and they'll be mated with the Hawk HP Plus front pads. Um, really good reviews on these. Um, so they should give us enough bite for that particular disc. And then they'll be set with Wesmoto braided brake lines in a clear stainless steel colour um, and then they'll be fitted onto the rears as well to these. Again this is another um, MG part um, this is same vehicles, MGZS, MGZR, rear discs, um, but these will, these are a 260mm diameter, so these are effectively going to be the exact same diameter as what are currently on the front, on the rear, mated up with some standard Lintex brake pads for those discs. Um, and these are the calipers, and these are MGZS, MGZR rear calipers. Let's go with those. This is an MG brake master cylinder, one inch diameter rather than the 15 16 that's on the G6 standard. And then on the brake master cylinder will be the Tiguro brake stop. I've had this for a while, as you can tell by the box. And that's going to go in the engine bay to stop. Um, potential bulkhead flex. So I should have with that those um, and the Hawk HP Plus pads on the front should have a good braking setup. Nice firm pedal feel, um, a lot better bike than what I've currently got.
I've done here so far is um, just remove the, the the shield if you like. It's the metal metal shield that normally goes over there like so. Remove that. And uh, as you can see, it's brake disc. There's no contact being made. Um, because the, the caliper slide basically is not working right. The piston's working fine. Um, yeah, the piston's moving across in this direction perfectly fine and it's making contact with the rear of the disc. Which you can see there's a nice shine, there's a nice shine to it. Whereas on this side, because the caliper slide's not working correctly, that's where you've got this really bad, really poor um, contact happening. So it's not it's not even cleaning up the disc right, so it's good. It's, all the, all the pitting that it's got, you can't clean it up, so it's just getting worse and worse and obviously you're not getting the full efficiency from this particular caliper so next I'm going to whip the caliper off, whip the carrier off um, I'll have to put a clamp in the brake flexi um, yeah, basically whip this disc off um, remove everything so we've just got the trailing arm and the hub assembly and then when we've uh, when we've got that on both sides, um, we can start building back up. We can put the braided brake line on. Um, so yeah, I might not even bother clamping the brake hoses. I might end up just getting the um, just end up getting it clamped instead. I'm getting it unclamped, should I say? gone so whipped everything off um, a braided brake, brake line is put in place just there um, but I've clamped the original brake line just in case I don't have time at least I can throw all the calipers and discs on new pads and you know get it back on the road by, by the end of today I don't want to be in a position where if I run out of daylight or run out of time that I have to carry on with it tomorrow and bleed, bleed all the brake lines and all that sort of stuff so it's sort of there just hanging if I get time to do it I'll do it if not then um, I'll just be putting the original lines back on and yeah but yeah here's a comparison of disc size um, so you can see one on the right hand side is a lot bigger in diameter for the brake pad and it weighs say, a considerable amount more as well. Really impressed how these have gone together. These are the MGZR rear calipers, pads, discs, all hooked up to a um, Civic EG. I just need to throw the um, braided brake line on. But yeah, looking, uh, looking really good. Um, the red isn't my particular caliper choice, just how they came. But yeah, looking good. Bit of BC, bit of BC race in there. I've had them for about a year and a half, two years now. Yeah, impressed.